Hi guys, Zach here with another Commander Conquer Red Alert video. In this game, I'm playing a 1v2 match on the map Innocence. I'm starting in the bottom right position, playing as the Soviets. And as we could see at the start, the other two t players are playing as the Allies. And I've just got a crate with five infantry. I mean, it could be gr really strong crates, I guess, in this stage in the game if you get a money crate that's always good there's also mcvs and ore trucks uh, which make things a lot easier but five infantry is better than nothing and now i'm going to be sending my infantry out and doing a little bit of scouting now there's two ways you can play if you're playing like multiple players you can either go for an early attack uh, before the other player is ready and you know, take one out and then fight with the other one once you've recovered or what I'm going to do is go for multi-MCV builds, so I've got faster building speeds and then try and outproduce them that way. Um, I just think that way is more fun than just going for like a rush attack. Um, I think it'll lead to a better match. So I'm going to be building my MCVs really early in this game. And I'm going straight for the service depot. I'm going to build a single ore truck and then I'm going to be getting a couple of MCVs out. And you can see our enemy is going for... A few infantry at the start and they know exactly where my base is so they know where to go to find me and um, it's not like we're um trying to find each other in this game and i'm just taking that uh guy back and you can see i've just actually got a missile launcher now that's actually pretty good if you've got infantry coming because missile launchers can do a lot of damage and there you can see me i've queued up some more trucks and then i'm going to be producing uh, so yeah, MCVs, and then I'm going to be producing tanks. I'm just having a look for where those infantry are because they seem to have disappeared a little bit. We can also see Cyan uh, sending some infantry in. And I'm just putting down my second ore refinery. One of the things about multi-MCV builds is you do have to be like very, like you need to really take care of your funds. So I am building some ore refineries before I build my second war factory because there's no point in having like being able to build a lot faster if your economy is just no good. So you can see me building there my fourth ore refinery, which I'm just going to place here. And I'm going for a small power plant. Now, I don't actually know which is the best way to like sort of build this. And Cyan managed to sneak someone through. And he's already seen my other thing. And we can see red with the light tank. And that's going to be a bit of a nuisance. It's a good thing I'm actually building a power plant. Because, uh, yeah, getting low on power at this stage. It's going to be make things a little bit hard. And that's the danger of going multi-MCV. You can get caught out like that. And we've got a light tank in our base. But I'm all, almost complete with my second MCV. And that's going to give me three construction yards which is going to increase my build speed a lot and now i'm getting that tesla down which is building quite fast and my economy looks to be pretty good at this point so that extra tesla is going to make a big difference if red sends any more uh, tanks in and i just need to keep an eye out and have a bit of a look around but you can see there getting two tesla in my main base that's going to help a little bit and yeah, I mean, I haven't done a very good job of like stopping them getting into my burst early on. Although they did have tanks, so I guess infantry are never going to stop tanks. And I just need to have a little look around now because we can see red with the light tanks on the left side of my base. And he has got quite a few, so he has been uh, building uh, a reasonable amount. So we're going to have to try and take those out as quickly as possible. I'm not too worried if they get into my base though because those Tesla will make short work of them at this point. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just trying to get my economy going really well because you can see I'm actually struggling because even though you can, when you build fast, you obviously you use more ore. So I haven't been able to possibly utilize that full building speed yet. I don't have the economy to do so. And we see Red going for my ore truck, but we're going to be able to take out his tanks before he's able to do that. I have now got my radar dome up so I can see what's going on. And I can see Cyan tanks, at, I think it's tanks anyway, at the top of the base. And he's using mediums. Now, mediums are probably a better like tank to use here because I have got Tesla. Um, so Tesla can like one shot light tanks, uh, whereas medium tanks are a little bit more durable. 
And we can see those cyan medium tanks retreating now. And that's because I've just got a much greater number of those heavy tanks. And those heavy tanks are, of course, a little bit stronger. And now I'm build taking my construction yard up so I can start building around this next ore patch. Because, as you can see, I am still struggling. And now Red's doing a little bit of attack at the bottom of my base. And that's pretty bad because he's got two ore trucks out, which is... Uh, obviously not what I want at this stage because you can see I'm already struggling for all. Oh, I'm taking all my tanks back. He's now running circles around my construction yards and now he's going for the power because if he gets the power down uh, those tesla coils will switch off and cyan going for the attack on my other base and um, so i did build that ore refinery out there but he's done the right thing as soon as um i was occupied at the bottom, bottom of the base he's done an attack at my other base and now i am low on power so i'll just get my power back online and then i'm gonna need to sort of like uh, chase those light tanks out and try and get uh, obviously established back at this point i don't i'm just having a look now as he, he might have destroyed my mcv unfortunately but uh, so that's one mcv down and that's gonna hurt my building speed quite a bit um because it does make quite a little big diff actually a significant difference having like three mcvs instead of two mcvs um, so that's not good at all. But now I'm going on the attack because I need to put a little bit of pressure on their base because if I just keep on sitting back, it's not putting much pressure on them and then they're just going to keep on attacking me. Um, so, so as soon as I start to pressure their base a li little bit, then it's going to like sort of put the pressure on their side so they're going to have to focus on defence as well. And now Red attacking one of my ore trucks but I'm also in his base at the same time as defending with some tanks. And um, I can see Cyan coming in at the top of my base. We're going to see how many of these red buildings we could take out, though. Um, he's got a war factory there. He's got his MCV there. He's building turrets. Uh, so we're going to take out one of those war factories. I do have a great number of tanks in him. Is, and we've taken out that construction yard but what i do notice is red has built a service depot so he may well have other buildings around the map and now we can see cyan attacking the top, top of my base and trying to destroy my economy so we're causing them a bit of damage and they're causing myself a bit of damage as well but we've taken out a lot of red base here and that's going to hurt him quite a bit and i'm just taking a look at what he's got uh, in other places on the map uh, just to see if he does have one of those extra bases. But I'm going to need to be careful because Cyan is in my base and he's got a decent number of those tanks. So I'm going to need to make sure my Tesla coils are online uh, so they can provide a bit of support. And we'll have to see what he's going to decide to go for. It looks like he's going for the radar dome at this point. Uh, but as long as he destroys buildings, I'm going to be able to destroy his tanks. And you can see now he's only down to three medium tanks. And I'm just selling some of those, like, ore refineries because I've got tons of them. Uh, but I've got, like, hardly any ore trucks. I think I've got, like, I don't know, about four ore trucks now. Um, so it's uh, not that good at all, really, uh, for the position I'm in. But uh, we managed to hold, and that's the important thing. And I'm just going to have a look at Red's base. And it looks like Red may well be out of the game. It depends if he's got an MCV somewhere, because he could be like building up a base at another part of the map and just leaving his ore trucks at his original base so he doesn't like indicate that he's moving. And now Cyan coming across the top of my base, uh, but this time we're not preoccupied with red. And yeah, I don't think that many medium tanks is going to really cause me a trouble because you can see I've got equal numbers of heavy tanks and I'm going to be able to outmaneuver and be able to wipe them out and now i've got my radar dome up now so i can see what's going on in other parts of the map and i think cyan i'm just having a think does he have a base up there because uh, i can definitely see some things there and you can now red and actually sneak some tanks in and have taken out one of my construction yards so i am actually down to one construction yard now so i'm going to need to defend against this because if i lose a construction yard that's going to be very bad uh, for myself because i won't be able to i'll have to build mcvs i'm building another mcv now just to uh because I've got, like, more tanks on the map. It's just, uh, yeah, you can see Red there as well blocking air, uh, using his refs to block uh, air trucks and taking them one out with it, one of his tanks there. And now Cyan uh, going for my air trucks uh, further up the map. 
And yeah, it's just with having these tanks all over, I've now built an extra MCV, so I should be hopefully okay. Um, and you can see that they're doing a little bit of damage to that uh, power plant, which looks like it, yeah, I possibly saved it, I think. But now I'm getting this MCV up a bit further up the map and just getting one there. I'm also going to build an extra war factory uh, just to increase my building speed of tanks because you can see now I'm starting to uh, build up my ore reserves and that's just a single red tank so that's going to be fine for the time being. And yeah, I'm just going to get my uh, war factory up there and start building another ore refinery so I can sort of like start expanding to that ore patch to the left. And we can see that cyan a tank doing a little bit of damage there but I'm going to be able to take that out and I'm just staying around my base at the moment because what I want to do is I want to protect it and start building up my economy and red uh, looks like he's uh, out of the gate well he's still in but uh, it looks like he doesn't have much left at all Got some more trucks uh, around and now Cyan coming in with a group of medium tanks but I don't think that's going to be enough uh, because you can see I have got a lot of heavy tanks defending and now I'm just uh, starting to reinforce this top point and you can see that was sort of like a bluff it was trying to distract me but I did have tanks at the other point anyway so um, we'll have to see what he decides to do now he's trying to yeah attack one place and then going to another but I have got tanks in both and I think I do have the better tank numbers overall at this point. And you can see he's going to lose a lot of tanks here. He's going to get near that Tesla coil possibly as well. And yeah, if he loses, and that's the thing, I'm, what's happening is he's losing tanks and I'm sort of like building more tanks up. So that's, uh, it's, so over time I'm just getting more and more of an advantage with tank numbers. Because he's not now. I've got so many buildings. It's like very hard to like destroy, like do enough damage to like stop me. And I'm building another Tesla coil here. You can see me getting better defenses now. And as soon as I get, as I start to build more and more Tesla coils, it starts to get harder and harder for the other team to like do damage to my base. Uh, you can see there they've gone for the power, but they have lost a lot of tanks in doing that. Uh, because even though my Tesla coils are now offline, he's lost basically all his tank mass because my tanks were on top of them while they were doing that. And I'll just fix those two power plants. So I'm probably in a position now where I can go for the counter-attack. Uh, although you can see Red there going in with his ore refinery. He's trying to block my ore refs. Uh, and Cyan again coming at that bottom part. But I have got some tanks moving to the left of the map. So Cyan coming in now. We'll have to see. Is he going to go for that construction yard? It's quite a possibility. Although I still have another construction yard further up the map. And he does go for the construction yard. And it is going to go down. But uh, it's, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue at this stage. Because um, it looks like I am in a very good position. And you can see my tanks getting near to that top left position on the radar map. And once I get into that position, it's going to be make things quite a bit. Uh, we're going to be able to take out his main base. So let's have a look here. We can actually see he's very low on in that patch as well. And I do need to be a little bit careful because he might have be he might be at other parts of the map. You can see me building a couple more MCVs there, uh, just to take them to different parts of the map and restore, um, get that quick building speed again, and be able to build some defenses. But we can see Cyan there in the bottom of my base. Uh, Red's there blocking my ore refinery. I've just sold that because I don't really need it, and I think it'll be. I think the other ones are too close to the tester coils. But now we can see that uh, Cyan is using some light tanks to defend his main base. Um, but it looks like we're going to be pretty good for now. Because, uh, yeah, he just doesn't have the tank numbers to defend. And he doesn't have the base defences either. Um, and, yeah, I think that base is going to go down quite easily. Yeah, and there's his uh, construction yard. Although, as I say, he may well... Yeah, he has another construction yard as well. What he's done is he's built a service depot. And that's 
I'd expect that to happen at this stage. Um, and he's got so he's got two construction yards. The question is, does he have a base elsewhere on the map? I did also see a gap generator in his base, which means he possibly has. Well, he does have. He must have built a tech center. So he would have had. Well, it would have both had map vision maybe at one point. Um, I don't know if he's had to sell his tech center now, but uh, that's one of the big advantages, I guess, of allies is that you can get that tech center, and in long games you can get that full map visit vision, which does help a lot and give a good tactical advantage. Um, but yeah, now we I can't see any other buildings from Cyan, and now we're just taking out Reds, uh, where what it looks like is his final buildings. So yeah, we can see him with a power plant there and a radar dome, both of them going down. And yeah, they're just calling it a good game, and um, because as you can see, everything is pretty much destroyed. I will cut some sections of the next little bit of the game because there wasn't that much that happened from here on. Uh, you can see there's a couple of red units around um, and I am I did look around for any other bases and search to the corners of the map. And what we did see is we saw some uh, blue cyan tanks coming from there. So I did have an investigate to the bottom left of the map and what we found there is we found this construction yard and you can see he's got some cruisers there and those cruisers could have been really helpful early in the game if he'd been able to get them out because it would have wreaked a bit of havoc on my bottom base or look and this is just the end stats for the game so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video